Good morning, everybody. This is Subby here at the Weather Center. Well, you are looking at the remnants of Hurricane Francine that made landfall last night around 5 o'clock in the state of Louisiana. And it's still wrecking havoc down here along the panhandle of Florida and into Georgia as that eastern side of a tropical storm is known for the best place to see tornadoes. And, of course, they have a tornado watch and looks like a couple tornado warnings ongoing down here near the panhandle of Florida. But unfortunately, Francine had moved just a little bit too far east for West Central Missouri to reel in any of that moisture that uh, that we were so hoping that we could get from this tropical system. Um, I, maybe some isolated showers in our eastern county, Pettis, Benton County, maybe late this afternoon tonight. But for the most part, the only thing we're going to get from Francine is some cloud cover and some cooler temperatures coming in for tomorrow. Now, she, Francine is becoming kind of a problem child to us now, and I will show you guys why. So we are going to be looking at the 500 millibar chart, which if you remember, that's 18,000 feet above our heads. And this is where that river of air, the jet stream is located. And we can see where these storm systems are going to go. And of course, you are looking at Francine down here in Mississippi, Louisiana area right now. And I'm just going to fast forward this just a little bit. And notice where she goes. She begins to move north, and then she kind of stalls out out here along the eastern part of the country. Now, look at all these storm systems up here in the jet stream. And watch how every one of them dip down and then rides up and over thanks to the remnants of Francine out here on the East Coast. All of these storm systems come down, they dig in, and they go up and over the state of Missouri. And we are going to be looking at that same pattern all the way through around the 22nd to the 25th of this month as we uh, finish up around that third week of September before we finally get that system out of the country, off into the Atlantic, and we can start to reel in some of those storm systems here in the Midwest. Now, we are going to have a couple disturbances. We're going to be on the outer edge of a couple of these storm systems that might provide a focus for a a um, couple bouts of rainfall, but nothing significant. And again, not expecting that until that third week of September into the last week of September before we start to see signs of the sky starting to open up to our favor just a little bit. So uh, Francine is creating problems not only for uh, the Gulf Coast, but also for us here in West Central Missouri because she's not giving us the ability to get any rainfall. So let's take a look at the forecast for today. And we're going to be looking for a high of 85 with mostly cloudy skies. We'll see the sun try to peek out from time to time today. Uh, tonight is going to be mostly cloudy skies with a low of 63. And then tomorrow a little cooler, partly cloudy. 79 degrees for the high. Now I'm keeping that 20% chance of rainfall in the forecast, mainly for our eastern counties, say Pettis and Benton counties, where they might actually see a pop-up shower uh, late this afternoon, tonight, maybe a couple sprinkles. But for the most of us, we are going to remain dry. So hopefully everybody has a great Thursday. We've got Friday coming up tomorrow, the end of the week. Lots of stuff going on for the weekend. So, of course, we'll have Friday night light forecast tomorrow afternoon. We are also going to be having a podcast with 
a local gentleman right here in Clinton, Missouri. That will be coming out tomorrow afternoon. And, of course, my ag weather report will be coming out Saturday morning as well. And Chiefs football coming up on Sunday. Uh, unfortunately, the KC Royal lost a heartbreaker last night in the 11th inning, but they are still playing some pretty good balls. So uh, very proud of our Kansas City Royals as well. So take care, everybody. Stay weather aware. Do a rain dance. We'll be talking to you soon.